some stuff here, don't I? It looks like good stuff, doesn't it? How do you think it would be fair to divvy this up between all of you? Anyone have an idea? What do you think, Barbara? We all get some. Okay, that's a good start. Do you have any thoughts, Perrin? Ah, so I could think of a number and the closest person to guess my number gets to pick first. That's, that's no decent way. I can maybe decide oldest person gets to have the first choice to the youngest. Does that feel fair? Or maybe youngest to oldest? There's a lot of different ways we could think of to do this, right? And we might come up with lots of different ways it could be fair. Well. Excuse me. Today, we hear a parable from Jesus. Who remembers what a parable is? Well, a parable is a story that teaches us something. And Jesus likes to teach in them a lot. So we hear a parable. And in this parable, someone goes out and hires some people to work in the vineyard. And they work and they're promised a fair day's wage. And this person just keeps going out all day long and finding more and more people to work. And at the end of the day, some people only work this much. And some people worked all day long. And the person who hired them decided, you're all gonna get the same full fair day's wage. How do you think those people felt? Not happy? Some of them maybe. I feel like the people who only worked a little bit and got a full day's wage, they probably felt pretty happy. But those other people who started the day and worked all day long, they might not have felt so happy. They might have felt like, that's not fair. Do you think that's fair? You don't think it's fair? Well, what is, what is Jesus trying to teach us? Hmm. I think this story is about a different kind of fair, where maybe we don't all get the same, but we all get enough. Because those people who started the day and worked all day need the same things that the people who only worked a little bit need. They all need food, they all need clothes, they all need water and a place to live. So isn't it fair that they all get those things? I mean, do you have a job? Well, you eat, don't you? You eat, don't you? You had breakfast? Oh, you're gonna have breakfast. I know you, you guys have breakfast at your church, don't you? Well, that seems fair to me. Because I think you should have enough. And I think you should have enough, Anna, and you, Alexa, and all of you out there. So that's what we're supposed to learn today. So, ready to pray? Well, God, we know that things don't always look fair, but maybe what's fair is that we all have the things that we need to live healthy lives. Amen.